I Have Seen the Future, and its name is She-Ra and the Princesses of Power, a Netflix cartoon series developed by Noelle Stevenson with the support of DreamWorks Television Animation. I'm not talking about the old She-Ra Princess of Power from the 1980s He-Man continuity, I'm talking about the 2018 reboot with a brand new timeline as well as character designs that have visual personality and don't look like palette swaps of Barbie dolls. She-Ra and the Princesses of Power is a sci-fi fantasy narrative about a female soldier cadet who discovers that the army she's been training to join for her entire life is a villainous organization that is destroying the planet and that by wielding a magic sword, she has the ability to transform into the newest reincarnation of a legendary warrior known as She-Ra. It's Sailor Moon meets Avatar The Last Airbender, and it's awesome. So far, my only real criticisms are that the composition could be a bit more dynamic at times, there's a lack of choreography in certain fight sequences, and I'm not too fond of the animation in the show's opening, but that's just about it. I love how well-crafted She-Ra's characters are, with authentic voice acting for their dialogue, and although some episodes might take detours or unexpectedly divert its plot into a new direction, it still feels natural and honestly becomes a pleasant surprise in the long run. If you're a male fan of the show like me, that's cool. But I think we should all agree to not act like the creators need to cater to what we want, or try to come up with some weird name for ourselves, or take over the fan base. We're not the target audience, so let's be mindful of that and make sure that we're being responsible. For me, the main reason why I'm so invested in She-Ra and the Princesses of Power is because of its core, its moral philosophy that strongly resonates with me and drives the actions of its protagonist. Even if she didn't have the ability to transform into a superpowered warrior lady, our main character Adora would still leave her entire past behind as soon as she realizes that it was spent on the wrong side of the conflict, and although she's scared and doesn't always make the best decisions, Adora's resolve to do the right thing no matter what is such a raw, visceral emotion that really hits home with me. The series isn't just about princesses with magical powers, it's about fighting for what's right, even when it's hard and even when it goes against your entire upbringing. Because when you're confronted with the truth of the world, when you come face to face with injustice and you have the power to stop it, it is your responsibility to do something about it. Netflix She-Ra is a cartoon that inspires me to do whatever I can to become a better person. And because of that, I am totally on board for anything that this show has in store for the future. She-Ra and the Princesses of Power Season 1 is really that good. <laughs>